questions? You guys got your your sweep of a week. How does that feel? I mean, it's very. Uh, since I've been here, I haven't I haven't swept a team. I was hurt when last time it happened, so it's it's a great feeling. But I mean, just to be able to go out there and play the way we did was great. Offensively, defensively, all the things we did as a team, sharing the ball, making shots, it was just great all the way around. It's been a while since we've been in control for so, such a long stretch of the game. What was the difference today? Uh, I think our energy, um, and it's kind of funny, some of the players on their team was like, man, your guys' defense. And, I mean, that's something that, we, you know, was, uh, you know, happened in the non-conference. People really complimented our defense. Um, and we're getting back to that, and that's what's uh, tr uh, transition to uh, getting our victories. How great was it to see Kimani kind of break out like this and have the game that he did? Uh, I think it's great for him, just for his confidence and um, you know, you guys, you guys didn't get to see him, you know, preseason and overseas. He's going to be a special player. Um, you know, coming back from injuries is very hard, especially in the middle of the season. But uh, he's he's level-headed and he works super hard. So I'm proud of him and happy for him. He's going to keep doing well the rest of the year. And then you guys plus Shannon combined for 62 tonight. Um, how was it to just have that work and? Um, it started off with Cody. He did a great job in the beginning. Uh, he was on fire. Uh, I didn't shoot the ball well, and I was mad at that. But we got the win, so that, I don't really care anymore. Um, but uh, it's a great win, and I'm happy for Cody. You know, he prevailed. He didn't have his best game, you know, last game. But you know, that sh shows how you know how high his character is and what he means to this program. It seemed like uh, you had a good approach and you executed against their zone early on, Cody, and that hasn't always been the case in the Pac-12 this season. Can you just speak to? How that kind of worked out. I mean, our game plan was they play more of a three-two, and we've been facing a lot of two threes. So we were really trying to attack the corners in the middle, and that's was that was our game plan. And to execute the way we did, especially so early, was so big for us because then they had to quickly switch to man, and they were trying to mix it up because they were having a hard time stopping any of us, staying in front of any of us, and be able to make shots early and just get get mellow the ball underneath and stuff like that. It was so great to see it happen so early because we've always started so slow against zones and when you don't make uh, make shots it gives teams like more energy and they're flying around so to see the ball go through was great. Trey in the second half you made a three and then kind of threw your hands up uh, as UCLA called a timeout. What were you kind of doing in that moment? Yeah, thanking God for letting the ball go in. <laughs> uh, you know I, I, I don't know. You hit the game winner, then you can't make a shot. It's just how basketball is. I don't know. Um, my teammates did a great job, especially Cody. Kept encouraging me to keep shooting the ball. And, uh, you know, I guess I'm just streaky. You know, one, once again, <laughs> too, you guys had a great crowd here and it really energized, you know. What does that, that mean to the team as you're going along? You know, they make us go. Uh, Shannon does a great job of getting the crowd involved in the game. And uh, when that goes, we just keep rolling. I, th I don't know if they could do like a calculation of when the cap crowd gets loud and you know if we play better or not. But I'm sure you know it's very hot. You know they're a wonderful night for two. You know, did a great job too. I know on, on, on Thursday, Cody, out. there was a lot a lot made of you were at 12:30 in the morning uh, shoot around. Um, was it was this like a tough 48 hours that you went through, or just something you've you've been through before? I mean that that's funny to me. Uh, the cameras were there this one time, but there's times where everyone puts in the work. It was just this one time they caught me getting in shots. I mean. There's times where anybody, not a bad game, good game, we're always working. That's why this team's doing so well. When the lights are off, we're working. So, I mean, I, I had a bad shooting night. Um, I had things that just, it just wasn't falling. So to be able to go in and get shots up is what I just needed to do. So, I mean, it was, it was what I needed to do, but this is what the whole team does. It's not just me. The, it was just lucky that the canvas kind of caught me. Didn't like Coach was able to get a timeout right at the end there and bring in some bench players who don't play very much. What does that mean to you guys to see them get some time? I mean, seeing some of the local guys like Austin and Grant get minutes just to be able to have that feeling of the crowd cheering for them, it's a great feeling to be able to, because they put in work just like us. They're there every single day <coughs> up at 8 o'clock running hurley drills with us, doing all these things that we have to do. So to be able to get them on the court and be able to just experience this atmosphere that we have, it's, it's a great honor. You guys have won three in a row. You're over 500 in the conference now. Do you feel like you're back to playing your best basketball again? Uh, I think we're not shooting at the clip that we wanted to, but our confidence is high. And I think, you know, that's what is willing us right now. So when we get to shooting the ball well, um, I think the sky's the limit and we're going to be that team that we were in the non-conference. Did you feel like you, you, your confidence slipped a little bit, or is that just what happens when you go through a streak like you guys did for a stretch? 
Uh, probably, a little, I think personally, a little bit. Um, you know, it was hard, you know, to, to lose games like that. But um, you know, our coach staff did a great job, you know, keeping us ready to go. You know, Coach Hurley. I never had a coach that you know has inspirational speeches before the game. It gets me hyped. Um, even the day before a game, I, I, I'm ready to play. It's just the way he talks and his, he's furious and ready to go. So you know. That's really instilled in me and the rest of my team. And I also think that we started off probably the hardest stretch in the beginning of the conference. So to be able to bounce back the way we did, yeah, shots are going to go. We're, it's basketball. There's going to be nights where someone's hot, someone's not. But to be able to stay together, have that energy consistently, like playing defense, that's what we, we kind of thrive on. And like I said, we're going to make shots, we're going to miss shots. But to every single game, we've been in. And we've our energy and our efforts put us in that position. Yeah, with or make, without making shots, we've been in games and we had a chance to win, so that's all that really matters. You guys played unranked this week for the first time in a long time. This was also your best weekend of conference play. Do you think there's a correlation there? No, I don't think. I mean, at the beginning, it was cool to be like, you know, we finally nationally ranked. Like, I haven't been nationally ranked ever in my career, so it was pretty cool. But then towards, you know, the middle and stuff, it really didn't matter to us. We just wanted, you know, to get better in league play and get victories and, uh, you know, get closer to our, our goal and end. How important is it to have the conference back up with a big game coming on Thursday? Can you say that again? How important is it to have the confidence back up with such a big game coming on Thursday? I mean, we'll talk about that game on Thursday, on Tuesday, but just to be able to have our energy, like I said, to uh, see shots fall for certain guys, to see people finish around the rim, do all these little things, it's, it's always great to, especially to get victories, because that's the end goal, so definitely confidence is high, but we'll talk about the game when it comes. Anything else? Thanks, guys. <clears throat> Thanks, guys.